Welcome to our Global ITEC Solution Gates Playwright channel on lecture 8. So before you started this lecture, I highly encourage you to complete previous lecture related to this course. Let's get started and jump on the topics. Today we'll be talking about, talking about the hooks, uh, playwright hooks, earlier, re earlier report, generating the earlier report for the API automation and um, also setting up the CI CD for the gate uh, using the GitHub actions. Um, we'll be pushing our API automation suite inside the GitHub and also that earlier report will be deploying to the GitHub page for in a, in a hosted environment so everybody can have access on it. All right, so let's get started. So as you see the, the previous code, uh, this is our previous suite, right? So we'll be using our the, the hooks, hooks uh, which hooks we'll be using it? We'll be using our described hooks. So let's use the described hooks. Uh, this is the test hooks and we'll be using the described hooks. So we'll just copy and wrap with the described blog of code and create user and delete user. So we'll be using over here create users and delete user endpoints. So this is the described hooks, right? So um, in Playwright, well, we're using hooks, test hooks, described hooks, and um, test.skip, um, test, uh, test before each, after each, before all, after all, all the hooks. So we'll be using, you know, like the mode uh, later on in a customized format, but for now we'll be using only the described, described hooks and the test hooks. Let's see, test is running on the npm run test. So our four tests are passing, one of uh, skipping, which is the auth one. So this is one of them, uh, the earlier report, generating the earlier report. Let's go back to our website uh, for the earlier website. Uh, let's see what we need to do. Uh, let's installation. So this is the installation we have to install. npm hyphen d playwright test earlier playwrights. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's install it. And making sure this is installed inside the package.json file, you'll be seeing over here. So playwright test, earlier playwrights, it's being installed now. Let's go back on the website. Let's see what it says, the next part. So you just, the reporter, you can use the reporter, earlier reports, but I'll be using as a customized format a little bit. So this is how the way you can generate the report. So as you know, you are already familiar with it. Um, we use the reporter. Uh, inside the config file. So this is the main in in our previous lecture, right? So we'll be using the same reporter. We'll be just copying and pasting uh, from the uh, previous code. So let's go back inside the config file and go get the reports. That's all I need, right? So this is our reporter. And we'll be using here inside the configuration file. So this is instead of HTML report, we're not going to be HTML report, we'll be using the um, direct earlier report. So let's say print statement 2, we're not using the HTML report, we'll be using the list. Uh, we can see the test cases of it, also the earlier report of it. Okay, let's see it is working or not. And also we'll be copying some script for the earlier report post test. Uh, so by generating the by generating a report. Let's go ahead and copy it. It will be available for you inside the GitHub as well as package.json file. Then add the script here. And we'll be using report. Report. Okay. Let's run it. npm run test. So earlier report should be generated. Take a look on the left hand side. So there you go. So earlier result generated. Now we'll be generate the earlier report. Another command npm run report, which is we just predefined and inside the script. So result should be up and running. So as you see, this results it's up and running, and there is a five test cases: uh, user endpoints, create users, and delete users, create users and endpoints. Right? You can able to see all of them by expanding. The endpoints what are this inside but only the bad things is this is in a local host you cannot share this link with the other people right in order to do that in order to sharing this link with the other folks other um, team members 
uh, in your project, what you can do will we'll be creating a GitHub repository and called a playwright API automation. Playwright API automation, and, and it will be a public and will be at the readme.md file and create the repository. Let's clone the repository in our desktop item. Let's go back. Uh, let's say, uh, what am I inside the playwright API automation? Right? So I'll be putting, um, let's say, the playwright API. Let's go back one step, one directory, and put the pwd playwright API. Now do the git clone and Playwright API automation already exists. Okay, so let's make a directory. MKDIR, let's put GitHub. Now CD GitHub and put git clone. Let git clone. Let's do this. Okay, so now we just get this in our local machine inside our tube inside the playwright api then there is a github and there is there you go so now we'll be moving this all the code inside this folder right so how do we do that go back uh, our playwright automation so this is the playwright automation basically all of the code right so i'll be copying from here all of them api automation and we'll be putting inside the github over here so we just we just cloned it and let's paste 14 items that's good let's let them to complete so, okay so it is completing now let's move into our So this is the playwright the package. This is our code. Let's close it. Open up new one. Visual Studio Code. And inside the Visual Studio Code, we'll be moving this folder. This folder here. So this folder are basically what what I did. I created a um, GitHub uh, GitHub repo. I cloned it. Then what we worked on before. Then we move the code inside the folder. Now, the GitHub repository we're just opening with the Visual Studio code. That's all I did. Now, open up the terminal here. So let's see, still my works uh, code are running. npm, let's do this. npm run test should be up and running okay everything is works fine right now let's see I'm in the git branch I'm in the master branch okay so now the last part we'll have let's go in our github let's see if it is available or not because I didn't post it yet I'm gonna push it with the github actions let's let me push it git add git commit hyphen m um, playwright api automation git push right so now you you have available in the playwright automation so it, everything is there now i will be adding dot yml file that's all i need to do Right. So let's see, I do have available or not, play I, uh, playwright API automation. So let's go, let's see. So I already have the LA report generated um, in previous lecture, right, with the UI. I'll be just copying that and pasting on it. So I'll be creating a GitHub, will be uh, go to the folder.github. We'll just copy that GitHub 
folder and going back to our actual YouTube uh, API folder then inside the API inside our API we have github so we we'll just copy and paste it it should be available right now you see over here so playwright API result everything is there okay so I already explained to you guys in the last lecture um, uh, let me explain to you again uh, playwright API auto mention earlier result earlier report so this is based on each post uh, it will uh, trigger that build on the Ubuntu server and it will be um, installing the node versions then it will run the command npm run build npm test which is we are running npm run test then get the earlier history of it it will and deploy it will create a page github page and it will deploy to the github page the report so let's see it is working on right so let's do that get that git commit github action github action with report deploy let's do git push should not be working because i have to give in permission okay so let's refresh let's go to the action and the action it's it started working on it in the meantime i'm gonna go to the settings actions in general i have to give a permission read and write save so let's see it is going through on that now so adding a github action with report deploy okay that's good let's build it it is building it it's already run it and see it over here it's been run all of them to under status code get the earlier history of it then it will deploy it basically all tight until that they write earlier report they write earlier reports the, let's go to the latest one let's see it's trying to getting the earlier history of it it's get there so we have to run it again basically so let's read on the fail job should be up and running within a second There you go. Run Node.js and successfully Node.js, then running our test. Okay, it's up and running. Then get the earlier, earlier report history from the marketplace. It takes a little bit time. Okay, let's get there is getting little by little but it says the uh, field with exit code okay i gotta take a look into it why it's complaining about yeah so this exit code so let's let's talk about in a next lecture uh, with the debug all right thank you so much for watching this lecture stay tuned for upcoming lecture for the rest of the course